Ooh. Mmm. <gasps> What's that? Spend all money on supplies for a new dress and surviving on a ramen for like a month. Hmm. Yeah, it does seem like the responsible thing to do. What do you think, Quillinson? Thank you for your comment. I do appreciate that. And I do hope you figured it out. Wink, wink. And as suggested by Bhavana Gupta, my apologies for the pronunciation. Please don't hate me. My fragile self-esteem and health relies on recognition of my work. Yeah. Sorry where I was. Oh, yeah. We will draft a pattern. So let's get the other supplies. And get to the planning. So here's a sketch of a sky blue knit midi dress. A stunning sketch, may I add? For the neckline, um, I may keep it as it is, or... Or... Have a turtleneck. And choking myself and leaving red spots all over the neck. For the sleeve, I want it longer and wider. You know those sleeves that trap poor helpless breadcrumbs the moment the hand touches the table? Yeah, that one. Roughly in the middle of the skirt, it will flare out. At the belt, as the initial waistline will be loose. I need it for the days when I finally decide to get fit and therefore I have to, I mean I have no other choice but to finish off all snacks so nothing can tempt me and after that I have to cover it up. I mean duh, fake it till you make it. But wait, how much would it cost on what? Oh. This looks kind of similar, sort of. Ha! 3750! Oh no, 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 no! Fair enough, the fabric is gorgeous, stunning dress. And the quality, oh, outstanding. Silk and cashmere that retails for roughly 100 euros a meter. I do recognize these dresses on the expensive spectrum. I felt like I'm lying to you, so later on I did go on a hunt for a cheaper option. And then I stumbled on this dress for 330 spicy dollars. The quality of the fabric is actually worse. I will sweat less in my cotton blend. But still, we are saving money. It could have been a little bit thicker and heavier. Nonetheless, I am happy with my pick. The color perfection. Oh, how it drapes. Just look at it. Oh my, can't wait to wear it. So excited. So, for 2 meters of the fabric, I pay 2780 euros. 3 to 100 meters pools of matching thread. Two spools and two bobbins for the serger and one spool, one bobbin for the sewing machine. Because I'm cheap, just like political campaign promises. Just to make one oversized sweatshirt in size S, I used up three 100 meters pools of thread. Three is plenty. I think I'm quite safe to assume that three 200 meters pools of thread should be enough. But you know what they say who doesn't risk never gets to do color blocking. Elastic 30 cents per meter, I may not need as much. It depends on the future of the neckline, but some places just don't sell less than a meter. A buckle that hasn't been located in any of the four craft stores. So I flipped it about. And I also got this brutally, brutally pre-loved sweater. For one euro to make a mock-up for my mom to test the pattern grading. I prefer the thrift on sale days. When what is left no one really wants. Most of the stuff is stained, stretched and damaged. But it has potential, it does. And all of this. And this. And that. I mean nothing, nothing goes to waste in this household. Except for toxic people. They are trash. 
I assume you have a pattern blocks for knits. If you don't, it's fine. You can manipulate a commercial pattern that you bought or select the comfiest knit garment you own and trace it. Since I've never done it myself, I put all my trust to you and your recommendations. If I want to make something similar to what I already own, I just dissect a garment into pieces. <laughs> okay, time to be productive. Starting with the chest. I want it to be minus 6 centimeters. There are four seams. One, two, three, and four. Minus 6 divided by 4 equals minus 1.5. Measure and mark. At waist plus 8. I do appreciate the ability to eat as much as I want. And not to hold my belly in. It's only 8 centimeters, but hey, look at me. I look slim. Ish. But oh, wait. What's going on? <gasps> well, now I see it. But you can do plus 2 or minus 4. You do you. Whatever makes you feel sexy. Add hips plus 4. The reason I have minus 6 at chest is to avoid having darts. Can't explain it, but for me, darts or knits are like pineapple on pizza. I mean, what the hell it is doing there? Sweetie, are you lost? I personally prefer to hide the excess fabric under the fat. You can do, let's say, minus 3. But keep in mind that from roughly European size 40, 42 and up, you will need darts. Smoothly connect all the dots. I want care to be... 80 centimeters. And I want it to start flaring out at... Oh! 40 centimeters, exactly in the middle. But it's not as simple as just adding extra to the sides because it won't be evenly distributed. It is kind of straight in the front and all folds are chilling on the sides. So you have to do slash and spread. Overall, I want to have seven pieces. Odd number. So that the fold line is in the middle of the fourth piece because that line is untouchable. Measure the hemline, divide by 3.5, draw three evenly spaced lines. Cut it out, we'll be working with this piece now. Cut along the line, stopping just short of the edge. You'll need this little dude to tape it down. Open up the cut closest to the fold line by 5 cm and tape it down. The second one is a bit smaller, 4 cm. And this one is even smaller, let's say 3 cm, because the side is on a bias. Overall, I wanted to add 12 cm, but instead of 4, 4 and 4, I have 5, 4 and 3. Hey, now we are talking. Ooh, evenly distributed folds. What a huge difference. Huge. Massive. Ah. Reattached to the top piece, the fold line remains straight. Right in here, patterns overlap. Measure the extra and add the same amount to the bottom. And very importantly, the angle in here must be 90 degrees. Finalize the shape and lines to your liking and do the same in the back. And for the sleeve. Because I removed 1.5 cm from the armpit, 1.5 are off the sleeve as well. I want it to be longer. 5 cm does sound good to me. Oh, and wider. Yeah. And don't forget about 90 degree angles. It's not a must, but will look significantly better when stitched together. Smooth the lines. And that's, my friend, the silhouette you're getting in the end. It's so much easier to comprehend the shape when there are no distractions. Don't forget to add a seam allowance before cutting it out. Normally, whenever a seam is searched, I add 7mm, the overlock a stitch width. I know that most of the pattern creators add more. Feel free to do so yourself. 
I just don't see the point of doing that. And for the hemline, it's 2 centimeters. To be more sustainable, I'm testing the pattern on the primary fabric. So I'm adding 2.5 centimeters to all seams. Today is Sunday and, oh well, the library is closed. So I can't really print the pattern out. But hold on, in just two hours, I can copy it from the laptop screen to the pattern paper. So I made myself extremely uncomfortable on the floor. Yay. Sewing is all about being resourceful. Sponsored by your blood, sweat and tears. Just testing the layout and it does seem to fit this way. Front and back cut on fold next to each other and the rest for sleeves, belt and neckline. Tip of the day. If the bottom of the skirt takes too much space, it's okay to fold it. Unlike your useless, arrogant co-worker. <laughs> I didn't say that. But that's a shame. Just made sure this to really fit and whatever is left is enough for sleeves. Oh look, <laughs> it actually didn't fit. Um, okay, had to fold like 1.5 centimeters. But it's fine, I still have one centimeter of seam allowance left. Baste everything together and let's see what are we having. Oh my, unicorn farts in the sky, it is gorgeous. I love it, love it, love it. At the waist, I like the looseness of it, but fair enough, it could be a bit tighter. I'll think about it later, but man, it's nice. And if I want to accentuate the waistline, I'll wear a belt. And pretend I'm a supermodel on a photo shoot. The sleeves. What shall I do with you? I might make them shorter and tighter. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah. And for the neckline, I actually love it. Look at that. And that's exactly the look I'm going for. Good. Keeping that, not that stuff. I'm getting this dress for 33 euros and 10 cents. And some extra. We'll need to buy glue for the belt. But hey, it's still a good deal. We'll put this dress together in the next video. Subscribe so you don't miss an episode of me stubbing stuff. By the way, how shall I name this dress? I feel like my creativity and energy left me. Nothing good comes to my mind. Nothing. And that's exactly the same reason why I don't feel like threatening you today. Oh my. So, just have a great day, I guess. Bye. Bye-bye.